بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فاريسيلا اند هيربس زوستر ذا فاريسيلا زوستر فايروس they are uh, the varicella and herpes zoster produced by the same virus which is the varicella zoster virus uh, the, uh, there is the primary infection occurs in patient without resistance to the virus causing chicken pox after subsidence of the primary attack the virus remains dormant in one of the sensory ganglia and ganglia and the condition enters a period of latency reactivation of the latent virus leads to spread of the virus to the skin supplied by the affected root herpes zoster as we can see the, uh, in the figure, there is first the primary infection occurs without uh, the patient with, without resistance to the virus, causing chickenpox. And after that, there is latency, period of latency, where the virus is uh, latent in uh, one of the sensory ganglia, ganglia. And after that, there is reactivation leads to uh, spread of the virus to the skin supplied by the affected root, forming the herpes zoster virus. Varicella zoster chicken pox, the, uh, the etiology is the varicella zoster virus or herpes virus, uh, human herpes virus uh, 3. It is uh, uh, a primary infection in a non-immune host after clinical cure. The virus re uh, remains latent in uh, sensory ganglia, as we said, and the mode of infection of varicella or chicken pox, it is a droplet infection mainly, commonly affect the children between 2 to 10 year, uh, years, and the vesicular fluid also, but with little importance, dry crusts are not infectious. The site mostly in the trunk and mucous membrane, uh, especially the mouth, and the um, incubation period, two to three weeks. Symptoms, fever, precede the rash only for 24 hours. Pruritus may be present. Lesions, sudden appearance of discrete erythematous macules that uh, forming papules, clear vesicles surrounded by erythematous areola. Uh, due drop on a rose petal, and uh, then become umbilicated within hours, and then become uh, cloudy within hours, cloudy and purulent, uh, forming pustules, followed by crust formation in two to four days and fall off in seven to ten days, leaving normal skin un unless secondary infected. And um, uh, lesions appear on croup, so uh, the lesions in different stages of development may be seen within one area, pleomorphic, site more, uh, more uh, in the trunk. Uh, the complications of uh, chicken pox. Primary varicella pneumonia, 14% uh, of adults with pneumonia and 10 of uh, them mortality rate. Reyes syndrome, fatal encephalopathy in association with varicella with fatty degeneration of liver. Neonatal varicella, uh, severe fatal disseminated varicella in infant uh, if mother developed varicella less than five days before delivery. And we will talk now about the uh, chicken pox or varicella during pregnancy. The varicella during pregnancy is a threat to both mother and fetus. Why the mother? Because she could die from the varicella pneumonia. About the fetus also can die from uh, premature labor or death from the mother. He dies with her, uh, from, uh, that she died from varicella pneumonia. And also uh, he could develop new, uh, neonatal varicella and die. The second thing is he can develop herpes zoster later on, undetected fe fe fetal uh, chicken pox, and then the child have a risk of herpes zoster without the ex expected history of chicken pox. And also the fetus may be infected, so uh, he will uh, get the infection and intrauterine congenital due to maternal viremia uh, or perinatal varicella, varicella developing within 10 days of birth, or he develops lesions later on. So the chicken pox during pregnancy, it is a threat to both mother and fetus. For the mother, she could die from varicella pneumonia. For the fetus, he could die from the mother dying from varicella pneumonia or from premature labor or from he gets the neonatal varicella. Or he can develop uh, uh, the chicken, undetected chicken pox, so later on he will develop herpes zoster without the expected history of chicken pox. Or also he can be infected, so he can get the intrauterine congenital uh, uh, chicken pox due to maternal viremia, or he can get a prenatal varicella, perinatal varicella within uh, tw 10 days of birth, and uh, he can detect it, uh, uh, develops the, the lesions later on. Uh, the complications, as we said, is primary varicella pneumonia, Reyes syndrome, neonatal varicella, and varicella in immunocompromised host. 
decrease cell mediated immunity will lead to prolonged viremia. So the, uh, the lesions will be extensive, extensive rash, and it will take longer period, prolonged period of new vesicle formation. Also more susceptible to complications like pneumonia, hepatitis, hemorrhagic complications. So in immunocompromise, the rash is extensive. It takes too much time for healing and uh, li more liable for complications like pneumonia, hepatitis, hemorrhagic complications. What about the treatment of chickenpox? Topical calamine lotion, 1% phenol and calamine, antibiotic ointment to uh, prevent uh, secondary infection and systemic antibiotics uh, if there is secondary bacterial infection, antihistamine and acyclovir if high risk patient in severe cases in adults 800 milligram four times daily for five days initiated for, of course in the first day decreased time of illness time of healing and listen symptoms also we can give it for children uh, 20 on the dose of 20 milligram per kilogram per dose 20 milligram per kilogram per dose so this is the chicken pox it is the varicella zoster the etiology varicella zoster virus uh, mode of infection, droplet infection, and vesicular fluid. Crust is not in, uh, infectious. The clinical picture, the site is in the trunk, centripetal distribution, uh, incubation, uh, and mucous membranes also, uh, especially the mouth. Incubation period, two to three weeks. Symptoms, fever, proceed the rash only for one day. Enterorites may be present. The lesion, sudden appearance of discrete erythematous mac macules, papules, and then becomes vesicles on erythematous areola, forming a dew drop on a rose petal. And... Um, and uh, also uh, it will become implicated, uh, cloudy and purulent, and later it forms cross formation within two to four days and fall off within seven to 10 days, leaving normal skin unless secondary infect infection. Complications, primary varicella pneumonia, 14% uh, in adults with varicella, uh, Ray's syndrome, fatal encephalopathy with uh, fatty degeneration of liver, and neonatal varicella, severe fatal disseminated varicella in infant, if mother develops it, uh, the varicella before five days before delivery. And also there is the varicella in immunocompromised host, which lead to extensive rash and prolonged period of, heal, of vesicular formation and uh, more liable to complications like pneumonia, hepatitis, hemorrhagic complications. The treatment, topical calamine or antibiotic ointment and systemic antibiotics, antihistamines and acyclovir, 800 milligram four times per day for five days for adult and uh, 20 milligram per kilogram per dose for children. Here is a figure of the varicella, a full spectrum lesions, erythematous papules and vesicles, dew drops and rose petal, crusts and erosion site of excoriations in a child. Uh, and the other picture is a, a patient with a varicella pneumonia in an adult patient. Herpes zoster. The herpes zoster is a cutaneous viral infection involving the skin of a single dermatome. Uh, the etiology is varicella zoster virus. Uh, uh, it results from reactivation of latent varicella zoster virus in uh, dorsal root ganglion uh, cells or cranial ganglion. Uh, when the host resistance decreases below certain level, virus multiplies and spread within the ganglion, causing neuronal necrosis and intense inflammation, leading to severe neuralgia. Infect uh, infectious herpes zoster virus spreads uh, antidormically down the sensory nerve, causing neurites. It spreads antidormically down the sensory nerve, causing neurites, neurites and released around the sensory nerve endings in the skin, where it uh, uh, produces characteristic cluster of zoster virus. No recurrence in major of cases and majority of cases and contact with patient with herpes zoster causes chickenpox in the non uh, in previously non uh, infected uh, persons. Triggering factor: low cell mediated immunity, radiation uh, uh, therapy, and neoplastic lesions. So the etiology is herpes zoster virus and it re, uh, results from re reactivation of latent varicella zoster virus from dorsal root ganglion or cranial nerve ganglion, and the virus spreads uh, antidormically down, to the sensory uh, down the sensory nerve to uh, make a cluster of zoster virus uh, in the skin or mucous membrane. And the clinical picture, uh, the site usually strictly unilateral and doesn't cross the midline in a dermatomal distribution. It is limited to the skin innervated by a single sensory ganglion. Sometimes it, uh, it crosses only by hematological spread or abnormal branching, but it is usually strictly unilateral and doesn't cross the midline in a dermatomal distribution. The area supplied by trigeminal nerve, especially ophthalmic division, 
and the trunk from T3 to L2 are most commonly or frequently affected, and thoracic lesion alone uh, account for more than half of lesions in reported cases. Rarely lesions seen distal to the elbows and knees. Here you can see the, the distribution, the thoracic distribution from T3 to L2, the usual skin distribution, and also from the ophthalmic division, uh, uh, trigeminal uh, nerve uh, are mostly the affected uh, dermatomes. The uh, prodroma, symptoms, prodroma pain, three to four uh, days, uh, and uh, usually uh, in a dermatomal distribution and uh, regional lymph nodes affected. Uh, Post-hepatic neuralgia may persist, especially in those over six years of age. The lesions, groups of vesicles on erythematous base, groups of vesicles on erythematous base arranged along the distribution of a sensory nerve, groups of vesicles on a, an erythematous base arranged along the distribution of a sensory nerve, strictly unilateral. Vesicles form from within 12 to 24 hours, and the third day it becomes purulent pustules and followed by crust formation that dry within 7 to 10 days and fall off within 2 to 3 weeks. Healing occurs sometimes with scar formation. And uh, this is the clinical picture, side symptoms, lesions and distribution. And we will say about the involvement of the, tri uh, of the ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve, there is 10 to 15 percent of herpes zoster of uh, causes herpes zoster ophthalmicus. Rash may extend from the level of um, the eye to the vertex of the skull, but it terminates sharply in the midline of the forehead. When it is only the, the supraorbital and supratrochlear branches, the eye usually spurred, but involvement of nasociliary branch, uh, which uh, innervates the eyes as well as the uh, uh, tip and sides of the nose, the eye then is involved. So this is the trigeminal uh, involvement of tri ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve, uh, of uh, involvement of the second and third division of trigeminal nerve and other cranial nerves usually causes auditory and, uh, uh, and other cranial nerves like auditory and facial nerves usually causes symptoms and lesions in the mouth, ears, larynx, and pharynx. Appearance of lesions in the ear penna implies affection of the geniculate ganglion, seventh nerve, uh, it leads to ear pain, loss of taste in the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, and facial pal palsy. Uh, this is the ramsey hunt syndrome, plus or minus tenderness and deafness. So uh, when we talk about the involvement of the trigeminal nerves, uh, there is the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve, which is more common. Uh, if the supraorbital uh, and supranasal branches are affected, uh, the, the eye is involved. If the nasociliar branch is affected, then the eye in is involved. Uh, and we can see lesions uh, in the nose. This is a sign. And involvement of the second and third division of trigeminal and other cranial nerves like auditory and facial, we see symptoms and lesions in the mouth, ears, larynx, and pharynx. And there is the Ram ramsey hunt syndrome, which is appearance of lesions in the uh, 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 ear penna from affection of geniculate ganglion seventh nerve leading to ear pain and loss of taste in the anterior two-third of the tongue and facial palsy plus or minus tinnitus and uh, deafness. Here we will see the typical lesions of the uh, herpes zoster. Uh, the first two uh, on the thoracic uh, distribution, thoracic dermatome. And the uh, second is the ophthalmic division of trigeminal is affected. And you can see here the nasally, na nasociliary branch is affected. The nose is uh, affected. So here uh, indicates that the eye is involved. Here, the second and third division, we said if it is affected there, uh, or other cranial nerves like auditory and facial, then we see mouth and ear and tongue and pharynx and larynx affected. Here you can see the uh, cephalic herpes zoster where po facial palsy hunts syndrome. We can see tongue and source palate is affected. What about the complications of the herpes zoster? Complications, cutaneous ocular visceral, visceral and urologic complications. Uh, cutaneous lesions, secondary bacterial infection, scarring, uh, zoster gangrenosum, cutaneous dissemination. Visceral, pneumonites, hepatitis, esophagitis, gastritis, pericarditis, cystitis, and arthritis. Neurogenic, the most common is post-herpetic neuralgia and meningoencephalitis, transverse myelitis, peripheral nerve palsy, motor and uh, autonomic and sensory loss, deafness and ocular complications. 
also granulomatous androids, causing contralateral hemiparesis. Cutaneous dissemination in immunocompromised uh, patient, there is few vesicles in areas rather than the affected dermatome and uh, could be more extensive like varicella-like eruption generalized herpes zoster, especially in HIV infection and underlying malignancy like leukemia and lymphoma and immunosuppressive treatment. Neurologic complication, post-herpetic neuro neuralgia, most common. And also, it could be herpes zoster in immunocompromised uh, patient, could lead to necrosis, scarring of the skin, cutaneous dissemination, widespread of uh, fatal uh, vir uh, visceral dissemination, especially lung, liver, and brain, and also cr uh, chronic development of chronic verrucous hyperkeratotic lesions, acyclovir resistant, and sometimes there is multiple recurrences. Uh, in the same different or in different uh, dermatome. So uh, we will talk a little about the neurologic complications, the post herpetic neuralgia. It is pain after rash has healed or pain after one month or three months after the rash onset increases with age, either constant pain like burning, aching, throbbing, intermittent pain like stabbing and shooting, stimulus evoked pain including allodynia, tender burning, stabbing, in which the experience of pain may be elicited by stimuli that are not normally painful, like uh, like touch and uh, clothes and like this. So the complications of herpes zoster are either cutaneous ver uh, visceral uh, and ocular and neuro neurologic and uh, uh, complications. The cutaneous bacterial superinfection scarring uh, zoster gangrenosum cutaneous dissemination, visceral pneumonitis, hepatitis, esophagitis, gastritis, pericarditis, cystitis, arthritis. Neurologic complications, post-herpetic neuralgia uh, and ocular complications are more, most common. And also there is uh, meningoencephalitis, transverse myelitis, peripheral nerve pulses, motor and autonomic, and uh, sensory loss, deafness, granulomatous angites. Uh, cutaneous dissemination, especially in, in immunocompromised patients, uh, either few or generalized uh, varicella-like uh, generalized herpes zoster, and uh, especially HIV, uh, malignancy, lymphoma, leukemia, immunosuppressed persons. Eye involvement, uh, herp uh, herpes zoster ophthalmicus and acute retinal necrosis, and uh, neurologic complication like post-herpetic neuralgia. And uh, we will talk about herpes zoster in immunocompromised patients where there is necrosis and scarring of skin, cutaneous dissemination, and widespread fatal visceral uh, dissemination also like lung, liver, and brain. And it could be chronic verrucous hyperkeratotic lesions, acyclovir resistant, and also there is multiple recurrences uh, either in the same or different dermatome. As we can see in this picture, this is the dis disseminated herpes zoster in a patient with lymphocytic leukemia, an immunocompromised patient. And this is another complication of, we can see the, the uh, after chemotherapy and the scoring. And here we can see also the verrucous herpes zoster resistant to acyclovir treatment. The diagnosis of herpes zoster, the same as herpes simplex, tissue culture, zinc smear, biopsy, PCR, serological test. The tissue culture with here with human uh, fetal deployed kidney cells, the zinc smear differentiate herpes zoster from simplex, and uh, biopsy and PCR serological test, ELISA and uh, latex agglutination, FAMA. This is the old one that we saw before, intraepidermal vesicles, acantholysis, and reticular degeneration, and the derm's edema vasculites. And there is the characteristic cell cellular changes, ballooning degeneration with formation of intracellular inclusion bodies, and multiple uh, multinucleated giant cells. The nucleus contains sharply eosinophilic inclusion bodies that is separated from the deeply basophilic ring of marginated chromatin at uh, a nuclear membrane by clear halo. And we can see here the picture of the of these changes of the herpes zoster. Histopathology. The treatment of the histo of the uh, herpes zoster Topical aluminum acetate or uh, and topical systemic antibiotics for secondary infection, 
uh, and also potassium permanganate we can give for drying and soothing, and uh, systemic antibiotics, analgesics, uh, especially for pain, gaptin or neuropin, uh, gabapentin or uh, neurontin for uh, severe pain, and uh, we give acyclovir 800 milligram every four hours, five times a day for seven days to be started within 24 to, uh, 80, uh, to 84 hours. So this is the acyclovir, the most important, acyclovir 800 milligram every four hours, for five, uh, four, five times uh, a day for seven days. And this is the herpes zoster. Four, human herpes virus four, that uh, is a piston bar virus that causes the infectious mononucleosis. It's a triad of fever, sore throat, and lymphadenopathy. And uh, it is usually a sexually transmitted kissing disease saliva and is associated with, especially with patients of, with AIDS and lymphoma with oral hairy leukoplakia. The treatment of oral hairy leukoplakia is 25% podophyllin in alcohol, etraconazole, uh, surgical excision, cryo, and laser. There is differential diagnosis of fever with maculopapular eruption, could be infectious mononucleosis, measles, or drug eruption. So this is the epstein barr virus or the infectious mononucleosis. We can see here a figure of the, if we give, of course, ampicillin, that it will be increased, the rash will be increased, like this generalized ampicillin erythema in patients with infectious mononucleosis. Infectious mononucleosis, again, is a, uh, uh, co uh, there is constitutional symptoms, fever, maculopapular eruption on the skin, petechi, thrombocytopenia, uh, lympho, um, uh, lymphadenopathy, uh, and uh, liver and spleen affection, and a CBC, uh, leukopenia, and uh, lymphocytosis, and um, atypical lymphocytes. Uh, and erythema nodosum sometimes, with, uh, which is painful nodule on the chain of tibia. Uh, if we give uh, ampicillin or uh, uh, amoxicillin, uh, it, will be, uh, it will lead to this severe rash. And uh, the treatment is erythromycin, um, penicillin and erythromycin. It is self-limited. We could give wrist and antipyretics. And if there is pharyngitis, we give the uh, erythromycin. Of course, there is a note that fever and rash on the face and then goes to the trunk. Uh, it's German measles usually. If the fever is uh, resolute and then the rash started, could be roseola and phantom. This is a note on another uh, thing. But now we will uh, go back to the rash of uh, uh, infectious mononucleosis, epstein barr virus. And here we can see the epstein barr virus causing also this maculopapular rash, especially uh, exaggerated after ampicillin. And uh, to the right is oral hairy leukoplakia and HIV disease caused by epstein barr virus. And he, here we can see the histopathology of the epstein barr virus, uh, beanbag cells containing multiple nuclei in a patient with epstein barr virus associated cutaneous uh, T cell lymphoma. And the uh, uh, numerous cells expressing the uh, down the epstein barr RNA stained black down. And here we can see another thing, which is the uh, gyanotic rosti syndrome associated with epstein barr virus, another disease associated with uh, epstein barr virus, uh, human herpes virus 4. Now, for the, uh, the herpes simplex virus 5, uh, which is the cytomegalovirus, it is uh, the cytomegalovirus in uh, uh, normal individuals, it on only causes bully on the ankle or particular ecchymosis or revido reticularis. But in immunocompromised patients, it causes either uh, sometimes chronic genital ulcer, perianal ulcer, and if there is war in the, is the intestine, or crusted papules on the face, or ulcer in the chest, or verrucous plague on the heel. So it causes ulcer, genital ulcer, or chest ulcer, or crusted papules in the face, or, or verrucous plague on the heel. The treatment is gencyclovir, and this is the uh, human uh, herpes virus 4, epstein barr virus, and human herpes virus 5, cytomegalovirus, another two herpes viruses.